Hello folks. Welcome to Differential Equations. I'm your host, Harvard Exoplanet researcher Rifat Bari. Differential Equations is all about the math of change. And that's exactly what we're gonna explore in this new Barry Science Lab series. If you gotta figure out how much snow is falling to the ground, you gotta use Differential Equations. Let's go ahead and check out our first Differential Equation. See you in the lab. Welcome to our first Differential Equations problem. Here it is. We have to solve the following Differential Equation for y. Okay, so like most differential equations, this involves a derivative of y, the first order differential equation of y. So we can first rewrite this differential equation as 4 plus t squared y dot, which signifies this derivative, plus 2ty equals 4t. Now, if you look at this for a moment, you might try to factor, you might try to do some substitution by replacing 2t with p and 4t with 2p, none of those, neither of those two methods are going to work out. Instead, you might want to observe this carefully. Have you seen this kind of an equation somewhere before? You have. In differential calculus, you saw this equation because this right here is just a product rule. Why? Well, you have some function, let's call it a, and another function, b, but this term is the derivative of b times a, and here, if you notice, 2t is just the derivative of 4 plus t squared. So here we have the opposite. Here we have the derivative of a times b, and that's just the product rule. So we can rewrite this as the following, d dt of a, 4 plus t squared, times b, which is y. And on the right-hand side, we have 4t, and so our goal is to solve for y. And so all we have to do here is just integrate both sides with respect, uh, whoops, with respect to t. So dt, dt. So here, if I take the integral of a derivative, of course they cancel out. And so what am I left with? I'm left with four plus t squared times y is equal to, what does this become? Well, just use the power rule and you're gonna get two t squared. But don't forget, there's an infinite number of functions whose integral is 2t squared. So you have to add that constant value. And so now we're just solving for y. We're left over with y is 2t squared plus c over 4 plus t squared. And this is the family of functions whose derivative gives you this differential equation. So folks, thanks for watching the first episode of Differential Equations. We'll check you out in the next episode.